so we're back in Roaring Heights because I found another starter home that I think could use a little bit of work. So this house is called the Affordable Elegance. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom home. And it says, escape the hustle and bustle of downtown for a laid back lifestyle. Honestly, I don't think that this starter home is really that bad in a grand scheme of things. I just think it needs a little bit of work. So usually when I do these kind of renovations, I tend to only furnish them for a one sim household. However, today I kind of want to shake things up a little bit and I want to furnish this for a two sim household instead. That basically means that we'll have around 2,000 simoleons to play around with when we move in. If you're curious, when I just had Elliot move into here, we only had 115. So literally having two sims gives us a little bit of extra money to play around with. This is what the house looks like. And honestly, I quite like it a lot. I think it looks interesting, a little bit weird, but I think it kind of works for the shell of the house. However, when you open it up, y'all, we have got our work cut out for us. This house kind of reminds me of the other one, like that yellow house, where like it had like the really weird closed off floor plan. I understand that a lot of old houses have closed off floor plans, that's fine, but this one just looks a little bit off. Like, again, we still have this little baby living room. At least this time, the window is centered, but it's just so small, you know? Like, uh, we need some more space. I think that's what we can really benefit. So why don't we just go ahead and get into it, y'all, because we have got our work cut out for us. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is get some by debug lights because uh, we could definitely use some of those as well. I'm also noticing that literally all the other lights in this house are these little wall lights. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all, those are kind of expensive. There's clearly some cheaper options, I think, in the base game that we could use so i might end up using those but for now let's just get the by debug lights out the way i think i'm just gonna like place them in like all the rooms and stuff they do come in different sizes but this is like the one that i always use so we're just gonna get one of these maybe i can get like the smaller ones and just like put these in a the hallway for now now the first thing that i want to do is probably change the floor i'm gonna be real y'all <laughs> this floor it's not my vibe you know i get what they were trying to go for but no it just looks like if you walk barefoot, you're going to get a splinter. That's kind of what it's reminding me of. We're going to probably have to try to stick with a free floor for right now. And then if we have money later, we can like try to get something else. So for now, we'll just get the free floor. You know, I still kind of want the house to be kind of colorful a little bit, you know, but let's just start here. And if we have money left over, we'll switch it. Ooh, actually this yellow. Ooh, that's money. That's money, y'all. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to copy the design of this floor tile onto the hardwood floor and then that way i can kind of get like a similar color yeah see like it looks similar mm, not really but it's at least it's the same color <laughs> I like doing stuff like this because it basically allows you to get around the system because like the original floor tile is six simoleons, right? But if I just use like the free copy of it, it's free. I don't have to worry about spending money. Okay, next up, I need to figure out what is going on, y'all. Honestly, do we even need to have a closed off kitchen? I mean, we probably don't. I might have to draw the wall back, but I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about this living room. Like low key, a part of me wants to extend the house out like one tile, which I think I'm gonna do that. But I need to make sure that I like, tackle this first if that makes sense okay so i'm thinking we could maybe tear down this wall for right now i kind of don't really want this house to be a closed off floor plan i get that's more like historically accurate but like honestly y'all i don't even think we need to i don't know because <laughs> like for example i could move the bed over here we could have the dresser be maybe on this side um i might get rid of this light to be honest with you but like even if we do something kind of like this i feel like it's a little bit better should i extend this out by one tile and then maybe like extend this out by one tile just so it can be a little bit bigger. I think that would be a little bit better. Yeah, because it's not that much more money to do that, you know? Now, I do need to like figure out where these trees are going to go. We have a lot of trees on this lot. Like, there's a lot. Like, how much is this tree? See, 198. I'm going to be real with y'all. I might have to get rid of some of those trees if the money gets kind of low. Just being honest with you. So, let's try to figure out this bedroom. I'm thinking, honestly, I do like it being open, but we could close it. If we really wanted to, to have a hallway, we could kind of close it off like that. I need to fix the roof as well. Ugh, this is kind of getting expensive now, but I feel like literally just doing something like this makes it a little bit better. It's a little bit bigger, but it also makes it a little bit better in my opinion. Let's figure out, do I want to take down this wall? Do you think I should get rid of this archway and just like have it be open? I mean, I guess it really doesn't make a difference either or. Why don't we try to like take some of the stuff out the kitchen? Maybe we could try to like move this stuff over for a second to see if we can rearrange the kitchen. So for the floor, could we do like a blue or maybe like a white or something? Honestly, a white looks kind of nice for the kitchen floor. We could do like a tile like this. You know, it adds a little bit more color in here. I think what I might do is maybe make the wallpaper 
a tad bit darker just so it can match in a little bit more with the floor okay so as y'all can see the kitchen is not big at all maybe i could like tear one more wall down a part of me just wants to have like a big open space like this but i don't know if that's gonna be good or not because like i could close the kitchen back off but i don't know maybe i'll do something like this where i'll just have the living room be at an angle so let's go ahead and start putting the counters back i'm gonna just line the counters up this way i kind of want to have some upper cabinets just for some added decor but that's a little bit expensive i feel like if we just get like two it won't be so bad because i can get like one of these and maybe like some pots and pans above it to kind of make the kitchen look a little bit more finished okay and then if we have a little extra space i would love to get a table in here honestly this table just from the base game would work wonders we don't even need to get anything fancy we can use that and we can get like a couple of these slightly nice chairs and then maybe we can recolor these Ooh, what if we make the chairs blue the color scheme is kind of all over the place though but i don't really mind it we could get like a little bit of tile i'm really trying my best not to spend all of the money just for the kitchen but i feel like if we're gonna like renovate the house we might as well get it nice Ooh, that's actually nice though i like this wallpaper let's do this for the whole entire kitchen i don't want to forget about the light source so i'm just going to put this in the middle like so now that i look at things from the top down perspective i think i want to draw a wall right here and then i think i want to get rid of this wall over here just to make the living room a little bit bigger because we can close off this wall and we can have like an archway lead into the living room like literally that could work really quick i don't know what happened to this part of the footage so i'm just gonna like tell y'all what happened <laughs> so i took the bedroom and turned it into two different bedrooms so it one is a nursery the other one is the primary bedroom i also furnished the bathroom i don't know i feel like i forgot to press record or something or maybe i was recording and i didn't think i was i don't know what was going on but anyway i put a desk in the hallways just so your sims could have a place to do work i also put a rug in the hallway as well just to kind of fill in a little bit of space and then i also tackled the bathroom i made it a little bit bigger and i went with like a checker kind of design for it it's kind of like a purpley teal color i really like the way it looks like my goal for this whole entire build was to kind of play around with the colors and stuff like that it kind of make a more lively looking house and the last thing that i did was i went ahead and i went into the nursery and i basically made the color scheme a green color but that's pretty much everything that you've missed so now let's get back to the other footage all right y'all so i made it a little bit smaller and i wanted to make sure that latricia and elliot could get in and out of the space so it looks like elliot could walk right here latricia can get over there so i think this room should be functional and it should work i guess we could get one of these and just put it here and then like as for the bed we're gonna probably have to use this one too let's figure out the wallpaper color i do like the black and gold I think that's really nice but we could switch it up a little bit i mean the wallpaper literally does come in other colors but maybe we could go for like a gold color like this and then maybe we could like make this a little bit darker i think i want the bed sheet to look like this i'm really trying my best to play around with the colors and stuff to kind of make things match and make them look a little bit more interesting we could change the color of the floor in here if we needed to i think i might change the floor in here ever so slightly and then as for the dresser Ooh, you know what? Could I drag this golden color and put this on the dresser so it can kind of match? Ooh, that's a little bit too bright. Let's see if we can make it a little bit dim. I don't know. I guess that looks okay. That looks all right. <laughs> we'll go for that, I think. Okay, so I think the bedroom might have to be done, y'all. I would love to put a nightstand. I don't know if a sim can still get into the bed if it has a nightstand beside it. We can test it out to see. Let me actually have Elliot try to relax. Can this still work, Elliot? Okay, so it looks like it still works. Okay, so the nursery, on the other hand, we could probably, like, recolor the crib as well. Okay, I'm going to delete another tree just so we can have a little bit of extra money for the nursery because it's looking really sad in here. Like, there is nothing in here for the baby. We could definitely get, like, a toy box. Maybe, like, a chair just so you can have a place to sit, you know, and, like, feed the baby and stuff like that. Okay, so the nursery, I think, is pretty much done as well. Why don't we tackle the last room in the house, which is this one? I don't really mind the wallpaper that much, if I'm being honest. Like, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I might change the color of it. We could go for, like, a cool green color for the living room. I do like that a lot. I feel like we need more places to sit in here. Now, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I would love to use this. It's like 200 simoleons. It is like the best couch ever. I don't think we can afford that for this house. I'm going to be real with you. I think we're going to have to compromise for like maybe two of these kind of couches. Oh, or honestly, we could get like the couch and love seat combination, right? Because I could put one of these maybe like this way. Or maybe I could like get two chairs instead. Or maybe like one chair. Maybe just one chair. Because like this house isn't that big. And then like for the bookshelf, I do like this one a lot. Can I recolor this one? 
<laughs> I don't like the way it looks. I want to recolor it. Ooh, or honestly, y'all, this one is 175 and that one was 180. It's a little bit cheaper, but I think I'm going to use this one. Honestly, do I need this big couch? Maybe I could like settle for the love seat because like I said, this house isn't that big. I think I'm going to change the floor in here as well to carpet. I'm going to try my best to squeeze in this plant. <laughs> I just kind of feel like this room needs one. Okay, well, I think on that note, that might just be everything that I could do for the inside of the house. I would have loved to get some art pieces, but a lot of the stuff in the base game doesn't really fit the vibe. I think I just want to change the color of this little border at the top just to match the rest of the house. House. and then maybe i can also do the same for the door all right so when it comes to like the landscaping and stuff honestly i feel like we don't really need this big tree either like that tree is really big y'all all right so when it comes to like having extra trees in the yard i don't really even think we need any i might just put a bush back there just to kind of have something but like honestly i don't even think we really need anything maybe i'll just move this tree a little bit more this way and then i'll just clean up some of the terrain paint from where I deleted a lot of the other trees and stuff. But honestly, I think that might just be it for this house, y'all. There's not really that much more that I want to change. Oh, maybe I can move this mailbox to be a little bit closer to the house. Maybe I can move this plant a little bit. But honestly, though, I don't think there's anything else that I really want to change with this house. So really quick before we go, I'll give you like a little bit of a tour. So when you come in, as you can see, we have like a hallway. There's not a whole lot going on in the hallway. I do have a desk just in case you might need it for something. We also have a nice kitchen, which I love the color scheme. I think it looks so nice. We have a living room over here with a really big plant. And then we have like a bookshelf as well. And then going over this way, we have our first bedroom, you know, so if this were to be like a family house, this would be like the parents' bedroom or the primary bedroom. And then over here, we have a little nursery with a crib and a toy box. And then we also have a bathroom over here as well. But that's pretty much everything for the entire house. I really like how this house turned out. I really love all the different patterns and colors that I chose. I think everything in here looks pretty nice. So if you want to download this house, I will leave it linked down below. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me over on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.